This is the process shot. I'm Michael, I'm stuck in the gene pool, and I've seen Gattaca, a sci-fi thriller from 1997 directed by Andrew Nichol. It looks at a society in which a person's genetics are the key to their success or failure, a path determined almost immediately after birth. While most couples will conceive through genetic selection, Vincent was born outside of the program, and thus with a high probability of health disorders, limiting his prospects to nothing. With his heart and mind set on taking a journey up into space, he buys into an underground program that uses donated genetic information to mask his identity. Living with his donor, a paralyzed athlete named Jerome, Vincent is now working for spaceflight giant Gattaca, and is only a few days away from his first voyage. However, when an administrator for the company is found murdered in his office, a stray eyelash from Vincent leads to his existence within the company grounds being exposed, causing him to fear the worst. Not that he will be blamed for the crime, but that he will be found as a genetic imposter. There's a great balance in this movie between being a crime thriller drama and elaborating upon its more philosophical concepts and themes of identity. The story does waver between the two ends, focusing on one over the other and then back, but overall it evens out and definitely weaves the two together very well. It all further keeps everything moving along at a nice pace, with the themes playing into just about every scene in some capacity. Similarly, characters are also pretty well developed, building upon some individual aspect of how a genetically driven world affects its people, and how there are always more variables involved than what a blood test says about your future. Arguably speaking, the characters work in a more classical sense as archetypes, playing roles in service of the story, with the underlying ideas they represent informing their actions. Still, the writing knows well enough to keep this feeling like a natural series of events, with multiple individual storylines leading into each other and building upon the greater stakes at play. It's all a very neatly crafted webbing that pits social ideas versus individual realities and the expectations of a person versus actual outcomes. Comparatively speaking, the technical details of Gattaca are a bit more tame. While this may be a cyberpunk setting, it chooses to be a bit glitzier and more industrial than traditional depictions of the genre. Almost in a neo-noir sense, as it shows the other side of the river, and how the wealthy and healthy live in luxury, a high-class lifestyle with an ambiguous moral system. Meanwhile, cinematography plays with wide and empty spaces and distances, generally more for scale than any overt symbolism. There's a heavier attention towards color design, with a beige haze in most areas of the film compared to cooler, bluer environments within Gattaca and other high-class areas, likely to highlight the separation of genetic classes and imperfections. Sound and music also continue to build on the film's general emotional tone, though there wasn't anything too memorable that stuck with me. Overall, while there is a clear style within the film's visual makeup, it's more focused on what is being shown off, rather than how it shows it off. Further, uh, more of that energy is spent on themes and allegory over the actual narrative. But that's hardly a negative at all, and in fact it's what makes the movie a true standout from any other cyberpunk story or any science fiction film in general, for me at least. Gattaca, Andrew Nicole, 1997. Four and a half stars.
I'd say it's definitely worth giving a shot. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. It's nice to see something different in sci-fi every once in a while. I mean, I'm sure more movies than this exist that try something as radically different. I just haven't seen them myself.